Hello everyone, Random Dave here. Welcome to Random Dave vs. Scammers Episode 5. It's been six months since our last video, and I've got a bit of a different scam bidding call for you this time around. A client came into my store after calling a fake 1-800 number, claiming to be Microsoft, with a scary pop-up. Luckily, she hung up when the Microsoft tech asked to get onto her computer, didn't give them any credit card information or remote access. The way these scams generally work is the tech will ask for remote access to your machine. Once you grant it, they pull up the event viewer, find an error that means nothing, tell you you need a cleanup and some security software installed. There's a price attached. Usually it's quite expensive. Almost always it's around the $500 mark. So you give them your credit card. Sometimes they install something legit. Generally they install, you know, something nasty, malware, some sort of backdoor turn your uh, turn your computer into a uh, crypto mining bot etc steal your info we see this all the time the client still had the website up with a handy 1-800 number so as is my people's tradition I decided to give the scammers a call and mess with them I ended up talking with Gabriel a scammer and after about 15 minutes he realized I was wasting his time I uh, ended up talking to him for another 20 minutes we covered his home situation his education how these scams work how they work at other companies uh, that he dislikes those who scam too much, how much he dislikes his job and wants to get out of it, and what he hopes to do for a living once he saves enough money at his scamming job. For a scammer, he turned out to be a decent sort. On a side note, when I'm calling these people, I'm also reporting their email addresses, websites, and any other info I can find to assorted security companies and their, and their website registrar to get it taken offline. The site for this recording was taken down about 30 minutes after I talked with Gabriel. Enjoy the video. Hi, sorry, what was your name? My name is Gabriel, sir. Gabriel Jason. Sorry, was that Jason? No, Gabriel. Oh, Gabriel. Uh, hi, Gabriel. How are hey. you tonight? I'm very good, sir. How can I help you? Good, good, good. Um, I had a, a pop-up come up on my computer. I was I was using the internet, and... Uh, okay. And this this thing came up, and it just says that I've got a critical framework error, and to call Microsoft support immediately. Oh, okay. And, and what else can you see on the screen? Uh, uh, the the website I was going to is is there on another. What what are, what are those things at the top called? A, a tub. A tab. They're tabs. It's on a tab. So I was, I was trying to go to an adult website, and this this came up. Oh, okay. So yeah, it it said to call you. Are you're you're with Microsoft support? Yes. Okay. Can you do anything on the computer right now? Um. It it's got the web page up. I was going to an adult website. Okay, I see. So can you please help me with your first name and last name so that we can verify and help you? That's why you have to screen on the computer? Yeah, it's, uh, it's Brad, short for Bradley. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And okay. Smith. And what's your last name? Smith. Uh, can you please spell it out? Uh, B R A D. As in, uh, um, I don't know, uh, Brooke, Romeo, okay. um, Alphagetti, Donut, and okay. then and then the last name is is Smith. It's S as in Sierra, M as in Michelin, I as in Italian, uh, T as in Tortoise. And H, H for, H for uh, sorry, what was that? H for Henry. H for Henry. H for Henry. Yes. Yes. Okay. I got it, Brad. I'm just checking the information. So right now your computer is blocked by Microsoft. Okay. Because 
Oh. At this moment, yeah, your computer is blocked by the Microsoft because somebody was trying to hack your computer. That's why you have this screen on the computer. Oh, so, so oh, that's oh, that's great. So Mike, Mike, so you guys can detect if if there's like a what did you, like a hacker, and then you can lock computers to to keep it from doing more damage, or what what. That's, some instructions that's really that's, that's really that cool that, that's really cool that you guys get that I'm not like that you can do that I'm not I'm not really very good with computers so I'm always a little okay. worried that something like this is gonna happen to me so it, it it's great that you can you know that you can actually keep people from getting scammed and 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 getting their computers hacked that's amazing Okay, give me, give me, give me just one second here. Sorry, I've just okay. got a call on the other line. Give me, give me just one sec. Is that okay? Sorry, sorry. What was your name again? What we, what was your name again? Gabriel. Okay, hold on, just one sec, Gabriel. Okay. All right, we got Gabriel on hold. Let's just stick him on hold for a minute. Oh, Gabriel. Gabriel, why are you scamming people? Oh, what are you doing, Gabriel? What are you doing with that phone? He's tinkering with stuff. He's, I don't know what he's doing. Oh, he's typing. Good Lord. Must have a nice mechanical keyboard that's pretty loud. So what I've got going on here is I've got a, a fake Microsoft Windows website that popped up on a client and they called luckily they didn't allow the the hacker the hackers microsoft support onto their computers and nothing nasty happened but uh yeah i'm just calling these guys to screw with them i've already uh, reported their domain everywhere that i can think of to try and get it uh try and get it taken down but uh, i figured i may as well waste a little of a little bit of their time while they're at it all right let's uh let's see if gabriel's still there i think he is uh, hi, hi, Gabriel. Sorry, that's just my oh. son on the other line. Can you can you hold for another minute? Do you mind? No problem, sir. Great. Thank thank you so much. I really appreciate this. Oh, so kind, so understanding. I I like this Gabriel guy. May have to give him a backstory and everything before I waste more of his time. <coughs> uh, so unfortunately, we have we have. Uh, I have clients that fall for this sort of stuff every well, on a far too regular basis. So what it is is they've generally typed like Google instead of Google or just a common misspelling. and Or there could be a, a, mal a malicious Google ad or an ad somewhere in Facebook. I've seen them on Facebook. I've seen them all over the Internet. And you click on it and uh, these sorts of things come up. And you get all kinds of pop-ups come up, Windows Firewall quote unquote pops up it's not actually windows firewall it's just a website and then it's flashing and bouncing and oh my goodness don't think just call us this is an emergency your computer is infected and your systems detected unusual activity and your firewalls block things and whoop whoop it's it's horrible critical alert from windows this computer is blocked call us immediately we have prevented things from opening oh no so terrible all right, and unfortunately, people fall for it. And usually, what these guys do is they get you get you uh, remote access to your computer, and then once they've got remote access to your computer, they'll install malware, do nasty things, or they may even just tell you there's a problem. Look in the event viewer, find an error that means nothing, point it out. You don't know, and then oh, we'll need your credit card, and then we can help you, and then you get like a five hundred dollar ding on your credit card with these bastards. Okay, so let's see what we can do about Gabriel. We've had him we've had him on hold long enough. Hi Gabriel. Sorry, sorry about that. Thanks for holding. I really appreciate it. My son my son's a bit of a computer guy, but he doesn't know what this is either. So he said I'm I'm doing the right thing by call by calling Microsoft. So I think we're good. Okay. Okay. So what 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 do we what what do we need to do? Do you do you see this a lot, this sort of thing, by the way? Uh, yes, sir. 
Okay, so you 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 deal with this quite often these these, these hacking hacking problems. Of course. Why why are people doing this? What what's the point? Why are these people, these these hackers? Why why would they put this this thing up on my computer? What are they What are they like? What are they trying to do? Uh, I'm not sure, sir. So that's why we have to check the computer. Oh, okay. Well, what what do, what do you usually see that they're doing? Like what? You, you well, you've dealt with this before. What what is it usually? Oh, oh my goodness, that's terrible. It, could they could they be like stealing my credit cards and stuff? They can try to do that, but at the right time, Microsoft is locking up to the store. I don't think they can do that right now. Oh, okay, that's good. Okay, uh, what 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 do we what 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 do we need to do? Okay, so first, what you have to do, you have to look on the keyboard. Yeah. Yeah. You will see there is a Windows logo, a Windows key. Can you see that? A Windows key. On I, the very bottom left. Bottom, bottom left. I've got Katarl. And next to that. Shift. And next to that. Ca- uh, uh, you, ca- caps lock. Tab. What's your name next to that? Uh, the little, the little squiggly thing. I don't, I don't know what that's called. It's a little. I, I don't, I don't even know. I, I don't know what it's called. It's a little squiggly line. Katarl. And next to that? You sh- uh, shift. And next to that? C- uh, c- caps lock. And next to that? Uh, tab. The little, the little squiggly line. And next to that? Uh, ask. And next to that? Uh, that's it. There's, there's no other keys on that side of the keyboard. So you need to check the very bottom left, okay? Yeah. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. It, it, Katarl. And on the right side, on the right side, next to that, what can you do on the right of that? Oh, Alt. And on the right of that? Uh, the space bar. And on the right? Uh, Alt. Uh-huh. And on the right? Uh, Katarl. I uh, the the arrow key the the left arrow key. Okay. Now, what computer you are using, sir? Uh, it, uh, the the brand name. Yes. Uh, hold hold on. Let me check. It's a it's a. It's a sit on the desk. I don't. What do you call the ones that sit on top of the desk? Desktop. Oh, a desktop. Oh, well, that makes sense. It sits on your desk. Uh, Commodore. No, I didn't get that. That's a desktop. But what is the make and model of the desktop? The Commodore. It says Commodore on the front of it. 
Sorry, what was that? Did you try to shut down the computer, sir? I didn't. I was. I this this really worried me, so I didn't shut it down. I just left it. Okay. Can you please try to shut down the computer. Okay. Uh, and restart the computer. This will go away, sir. Okay. Okay. If oh, I if I just power down, it'll go away. Power back up. Yes. Oh. Oh. Okay. I. Oh. Well, that seems very simple. Well, thank you, Gabriel. You've been uh, you've been very helpful. No problem, sir. So, I'm actually calling from a computer store, and I call scammers to mess with them. So, I've wasted I know that. 14 minutes of your time so far. <clears throat> I, I know that. Nice. So what what what's your deal? I mean, I know you guys try and get remote access to computers. This was this was actually one of my customers clued me into you, so I decided to uh, to call and waste your time. So what what's your deal? Like why are, why do you do this? Uh, I don't know. This is my job. From starting, I was doing this job. So oh, okay. What like? I do not do anything. So it's just your job. Like you get up every day and you you scam people. Like, uh-huh. No, I'm hired to do that, sir. You're hired. I don't like to do that, but oh, gotcha. What can I do? It's my job. Yeah. Yeah. So it's how you pay your bills. Yeah. Uh, that sucks, man. I, I really hope that. I know. Oh man, that really sucks. I'm sorry to hear that. Me too, sir. I'm really sorry for that. Yeah. I I hope. I'm trying my level best to save some money so that I can change my job and do something better. Good for you, Gabriel. I, I really hope that uh, I hope that you can get a better job soon where you don't have to harm people and you can do some good in the course. world. Yeah. But personally, I never harm anyone. Okay, yeah. Yeah. I try to do the best thing that is possible for them. Because yeah. others, they scam people a lot. I try to do it limited that they do not suffer more. Yeah. And I try to help those people who are senior, who cannot afford much. So I try to help those people. But as soon as I have enough money, so I will change my job and I will do something good. Wow. Well, well, good for you, man. Right. That's, I'm, uh, I hope that happens for you really soon. Where are you from, by the way? India, okay. Which city? New Delhi. Oh, okay, I work with a guy. <clears throat> I work with a guy from New Delhi. He uh, he actually ended up coming to uh, coming to Canada, getting an education, and he works for a tech support company now over here. But you know, doing actual oh. tech support. Okay, that's nice. So yeah. He must be privileged, he must be privileged to like he was able to study in Canada. Now he's doing his job. Yeah. And over here, there are more than one billion people not, not a loss of job over here. Oh, That's really? Some of us have to, you know, choose his job. Yeah. Take care of the family and get the food and things like that. Yeah. In order to survive, sir. Yeah, no, I I understand, and I'm, you know, I've talked to a few other guys who are, who are doing mm-hmm. similar things. And uh, I always yeah. wish them the same that you know that you don't don't have to do that any longer than you have to. That's uh, yeah, that's rough, that. man. How long have you been doing this? So like from three, four years. Oh really? Wow. Yeah. Ah, uh, dude, that's bad karma. <laughs> that's bad <laughs> karma. I know, and I've been I have been suffered from the karma. Yeah. Like, Yeah. I hope I will get something soon. Yeah. Better. Yeah. Uh, that is rough, dude. I will, I will try to stop these scams. I will, I will create some sort of videos to educate people. Yeah. So that they not end up falling for these scams. I will, I will try to do that something. 
yeah, that would, uh, yeah, that would be good. I'm, uh, I'm glad that you're trying to change your life and that you try and do the minimal damage you can. I actually have a customer who uh -huh. ended up, who ended up getting taken on one of these scams and she's quite elderly and she ended up getting, she ended up getting taken for something like $15,000. And uh, yeah, so, so, so many people end up with this problems. Um, I don't like these kind of scams. Yep. I'm not. I'm not that kind of a scammer. We just <clears throat> we just uh, do minimum scam, like you know, sell something in order to protect them. Yep. Just that kind of scam. We never, you know, charge the customer or without their approval, we never take. What do you what do you install to protect them? Sir, sure, like antivirus. Yeah, what an which which antivirus? Sir, sure, any antivirus like Norton, McAfee, Erast. Okay, and so you actually you actually install software like Cleaner, Malware Bytes. Yeah. AdBlocker. So you actually purchase, like you install a legitimate copy yes, of yes. the software? Legitimate software, yes, with proper license. And then what do you usually charge? Well, sir, that's two persons, but as you can educate others as well, so that's why I'm giving this information. Yeah. Usually we charge, sir, like under from 500. 500? Holy we, also crap. Give them, we also give them technical support, like uh, services for technical support as well. Like, for, they can, we give them uh, support email, support phone number, so that they can call us anytime and we will help them in, in the period, like whatever period they chose, like one year, five years, lifetime. And we give them technical support for free as well. Okay. So, and it is yeah, like. Okay. And like the company you're with, this company's been around for four years or longer? Yeah, for longer, yes. Interesting. What's the company? The company, what's, as a name, the name of the company? Yeah, what's your company called? <laughs> this is a recorded time. I will get fired if I give you this information. Ah, uh, gotcha. Uh -huh. Yeah, I am, uh, I am recording this, of course, so. <laughs> I know, I know, you are talking to yourself, that's fine. I give you enough information for the viewers and for yourself as well. Yeah, I appreciate that. I appreciate you taking the time to actually chat with me for a couple minutes. It's uh, it's always really interesting to, to talk to people that do your sort of job and just see why you do it and what the deal is, like how you work. It's always really interesting. So I appreciate you taking the time, Gabriel. Yeah. We have to. We, we have to survive. Like, so you are so privileged that you live in Canada, U.S. And yep. Your government take care of you. Everything they provide you, like good education and better, better facilities for everything. Yeah. But over here, we are not so privileged. Yeah. Gotcha. I understand that there are, there are other jobs like the labor job. Yeah. Care of your whole family. Yeah. No, that's understandable. Yeah. No, I can see that. Just over here, we, we, we live with the family. We, it's not like that. We live alone. Oh, gotcha. That we live with a joint family, like it's a big family. We yeah. have to take care of. So that's why. So, like your your parents, your parents live with you, type of thing. Grandparents. Yes. 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 Every 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 month. Yeah. I, I appreciate that about your culture. Over here, it's it's a sign of adulthood when you move out by yourself. 
and maybe yeah. you get a partner, but you don't, most, most people here don't live with their parents and don't, you know, you don't have your grandparents live with you. But, so. but your parents, at some age, they get, they get alone. They don't, they, they also need someone to take care of them. Yeah. So, or they, they, they live alone. Yep. No, people take care of their parents, yeah. but you usually they don't live with you. That's fairly unusual over here. So I, I do really appreciate yeah. that about your culture, that you take care of your family. I think that's great. Yes, my family is everything, so family yeah. comes That's awesome, man. So, hey, and I've had another, I have another question for you about how you work. Yes. How does it, yeah. like... If you get somebody to sign up for one of your support programs and your antivirus programs, let's say it's mm-hmm. five hundred bucks or whatever, do you mm-hmm. do you get an hourly wage or do you get part of that? Like, do you work on no, no, commission? No, no. We, we we get salary, monthly salary. There are some companies, there are some people that who work on contract basis, on commission basis. Yeah. Yeah. But in my company, I'm working for just I don't need any commissions. Oh, okay, gotcha. So you just get a percent, or you just get a set wage. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay. Cool. And there are, like, over here, yes, we do uh, that. My company, in my company, like, we don't do, uh, like, it is a scam, kind of a scam, but we also provide general services. We provide general softwares. We usually take care of the computer. If there is any problem with the computer, we take care of it. We yeah. have expert engineers who work on the computer. And it's not like that we are doing a uh, proper scam. Yes, 10% is a scam, but 90% is a general service. Oh, so interesting. That's why I'm giving you all this information. But there are other companies who do 100% scam. Yeah. Yeah. Either from online, either from offline, they will, they will tell you to buy this, buy gift cards, they will tell you to send money from Western Union, from Bitcoin, they will ask you to transfer a wire, wire the money. Yep. And things like that. <clears throat> things like that. Yeah. So. Yeah, I've seen all of those. I've some, seen them when they install some, malware, too. Yeah, there are, there are some people, there are some people that who have their online bank money. What would you like? What would, what would you like to do? Like, what what sort of job would you love to get? Good for you. Well, there, there's that's that's an awesome job. I know a few people that that uh, that code for a living, and they just love it. Yeah, I I used to do that, but in the starting, there was not a lot of money for that. Yep. And I had I had a family pressure. I had to build my family, so that's why I had to switch this job. It was it was better. Yeah. Um, it was it was easy money, and you just had to make. 
Gotcha. Yeah. yeah. So you have to make sure you have to like care the best part. Yeah. You have to tell them that you have this problem. You need the security. You have to pay for that. Yeah. So <laughs> this is the bad. This is the bad part of the job. Yeah. But gotten a few calls from uh, Philippines. So it's your it's outsourced to you. Yeah, they outsourced us, yes, right. Ah, interesting. Any other questions you have for me? I think that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for your time, Gabriel. And I can I can tell that you are a good person deep down and that, you know, this does bother you and that uh that gives me hope for you. So keep coding, man. Thank you, Gary. I appreciate that. All right. Thanks, man. We work on it. All right. All right. Good luck in the future. Take care of yourself. Yeah, you too, man. Bye-bye. Thanks. Bye-bye. The main takeaway from this video is that uh, Gabriel really, really doesn't want to be a scammer, and yet he's been doing it for three to four years. Hopefully he can get out of it. Anyhow, let me know what you think in the comments, and thanks for watching. Stay safe.